Hey guys, this is Number Ward, and this is the second TechIt tutorial. And in this one, we're going to be talking about uh, storage filtering, and yeah, just to make the this system a bit more efficient. So, what we're going to want to do is move this. Um, yeah, you're going to lose your or whatever. It's all on creative anyway. Um, let's just turn this off for a second. Okay, that should stop. Um, so what we're going to want to do is put a diamond pipe, and as you can imagine, it's just that. By the way, if you haven't seen any of this, then go back to another tutorial. Um, so I'm going to put a diamond pipe. I guess I'll put it here. Now, diamond pipe. When you click on it, it gives you this screen. So losing all the iron. Um, so what we're going to do is put a chest here for the output and I'm going to say if it's um, collect some of these if it's uh, iron then go to the white anything else will go to the red so then this will get piped back round I guess I can lower that um, now I'm going to put an, an iron pipe in here this just makes a one-way pipe and that's the wrong way around so what you're going to need to do is you will need to um, place it from the way it's coming from so place the way it's coming from last so this is the one way so it can come this way but it can't go this way and because if something goes this way and then it might go back and try and go into the macerator. So you also need another one-way pipe here. So you can destroy this, destroy that, place it, and then place this one back. So it's where it's coming from. So this should go back into the furnace and be refined. But I guess you don't want all of your iron to be refined. So I'm going to have half refined iron, half non-refined iron. Um, now at the other end I'm going to change the inputs I'm going to move the generator to here move the macerator to here move the redstone engine to here move the lever across okay so let's just say you've got a chest I'll say put it here it's doing that weird thing okay so I'm gonna put a I'm gonna have to move this chest actually put it here uh, let's put a wooden pipe and need a redstone engine to make it come out um, Just do that so it's out of the way. Now I'm going to make it put a diamond pipe. So, diamond pipe and stone going into that. Uh, I might move diamond pipe down a bit actually. Okay, so I'm going to make it so if um, it's coal then I want it to go this is not going to be the neatest thing ever I've got to admit um, <laughs> but it's going to work you can make it neat yourself yeah whatever um, so that's going to go into the bottom of the macerator of the generator sorry to power it and also actually wait we need to put uh, blue here so the coal will go this way everything else will go down that way so half will go to the generator and this is going to be really messy um, sorry about this um, let's try and hide this some of this underground so 
So make the other half go to the furnace. So with Buildcraft, when it ever gets to an intersection like this, it will just pick half go this way, half go this way. So half of the coal will go into the furnace. So yeah, let's put some ore in here. So put some iron, put some coal. I won't put that much iron. I'll take ages. Um, put some gold ore in here. Now this is all going to get a bit messed up because the macerator is still going to have um, iron in it. So I'm going to put. I have to do that. I'm going to make another system here with another generator, another macerator for gold. This is going to get really messy in here. Um, and as you saw, the gold went that way. So is yellow for gold that's good and black for iron so let's go and put the gold in here so then the coal should go into the macerators and then I'm gonna make another another redstone engine here to pump out the things and this is just going to be the same setup just next to it so do that go up and I guess we won't need this system if the iron's going to this one then it doesn't matter Let me just turn it daytime. So then that will come out of here. Let's turn the redstone engine on. And we'll just pipe this into this chest. So this is the end chest. And this is quite messy, but uh, I'm sure you could think of a way of making it a bit neater. This one's going to get more than this one, which is okay, I guess, because uh, iron's more common than gold and this is going to be f split 50-50 after already being split twice <laughs> so it's three splits so it's not going to get much there but uh, should be okay because uh, the generators need more than the iron uh, the furnace anyway so oh, I probably should put more coal in here Just because I don't want to do any more tutorials on this, um, well, I'll do some different ones, but just on basic pipes, I want to include as much as I can. I'm going to show you there are obsidian pipes and there are gold pipes. Now, let me just access them. Um, so, obsidian pipe that basically shouldn't use iron. Uh, I'm just using this crafting table to access my inventory. Um, obsidian pipe picks up dropped items, so if any dropped items. And this could be useful for a farm of some sort that harvests things and the water makes it go into the obsidian pipe which gets sorted. So that's really useful that is. Um, another thing is gold pipes. Now gold pipes speed up things. And I probably should show how to make obsidian pipe but you can probably guess. Uh, that's obsidian pipe and this is gold pipe. So yeah with gold pipes you need to power it with some sort and you may be able to see it changes like to an orangey colour and basically that would just make it go really fast so just put some stuff in here and it does eventually slow down after time but 
goes really fast so but yeah you can see it's slowing down like back to normal speed about yeah about now is normal sp well so then you can just put another one turn it on won't be able to build fast enough to be honest <laughs> Yeah, I just thought I'd show you that before the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.